Hi, it's uh, BSC Expo 2019, uh, Friday, and I'm here with Louis-Philippe Capel, who is the General Secretary of Imago, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Um, now, we spoke back at Cinec with um, Nina, Rob, and Ellen from Imago to get an overview of um, what you're doing, which, you know, is fantastic, tying together all these different societies, which, in their own right, can be a little bit insular, can't they? Because they're, you know, it's British, it's Australia, it's American, yeah. you know, it's their little ecosystems of their own in a way, aren't they? But you kind of bring them all together and mix them up, don't you? Yeah, we started, we started to be really only European because it started yeah. with five countries. Uh, then we extended to most of the European countries. And then we decided that, the, I mean, everything's going global. So it was a good reason to, to start and invite uh, international society. And, and of course, Australia was really one of the first very keen on uh, joining and then well naturally most of the big societies outside Europe were joining well there are only one or two big that are remain yeah. remaining outside but talks are I mean talks with China are going well oh, great. and uh, and of course talks with the ASC to find a way of doing something together which we already did for instance, with the technical committees, um, but but also I think uh, well in the future there are so many Europeans part of the ASC, and the president yeah. for the moment is European, so yeah, yeah. yeah it makes, makes sense, sense that we come together in a way and try to find a, yeah. a way forward. There's also a lot of things you do are they support the societies, don't they? You know the the, the diversity. Yeah. Panel. you know the, there's a lot of areas there and reaching out to people that are aspiring to be in those societies absolutely you know, it's, it's you know you you extend their reach in a way don't you i think we we the, we developed this well it has changed name but it was first the gender diversity committee um and uh, we had this conference in camera image and now we had it for the third year uh very successful i mean this is one of the big conference in Cameron Image, very well attended, and we were able to bring very top class people there. So uh, last year we had Rachel Morrison, and uh, the year before we had Charlotte Bruce Christensen. So yeah. these are figures yeah. of the cinematography, and, uh, yeah. and also now we have a paper here which we give up, we, we give away to, to people with all the groups of women cinematographers in different countries because yeah. it's come it's becoming so popular that they find ways of gathering together in Spain in Germany in England of course with Illuminatrix I mean this kind of thing so we are very supportive to yeah. the, these actions and I will, it's a kind of well it will be released after so no problem but it's a kind of a, um, very hot news but uh, Rachel Morrison will get an award at the awards uh, in Belgrade. Yeah, marvellous. And um, yes, you've got the, the second international awards coming up here, which is... Yes, so, so, uh, so when we decided to do the awards in Helsinki, there was kind of premiere for us. It's also way out of our reach uh, in terms of organisation, because yeah. it's, uh, we are a small, yeah. uh, small organisation, uh, uh, non -profit. Yeah, I mean, how big is the board? It's only as well. The board is seven people, seven, seven yeah. people. We have different committees, uh, and each committee, three, four, five, seven person, all working in their different fields. Yeah. So there is an award committee. They are in charge of organizing now this award in Serbia, in Belgrade, on March 16th. And uh, yeah, it's Helsinki was very successful. It was not easy to set up. It's a very expensive country. Uh, and of course, expenses, costs are uh, worth it. But we managed to, to get it balanced, right. in a way. Yeah. Uh, now, the second edition, people have heard about it. Serbia is not an easy country for uh, a lot of sponsors, but, uh, well, I do my best to get uh, the funding uh, closed. It, it's fantastic you're doing, and, you know, it would be very easy to do it in the most obvious location, to do it in London or Paris yeah. or something. But I think it's a little bit like Camer Image. I mean, Camer Image is, uh, is of course, uh, raised, in, raised in Poland uh, with a Polish um, crew or people, 
and so it's cheaper to make camera image in Poland than anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, Belgrade, I was thinking it, was, it would be cheaper than Helsinki, but it is not. <laughs> uh, it is not. Uh, and, um, and also now I'm listening to the partners and I, I have the feeling that for next edition, will be so next year March around yeah. uh, we should go to a, a more Western country or bigger country Germany or Belgium or yeah. England or whatever I mean. but it's good you've got the option of going different places all we, the time we choose so. to change location to get the opportunity to meet different people yeah. local locally but also to give the national association the opportunity to host something which is relevant yeah yeah and i guess that that's a big thing isn't it because you know the the big countries of with the the biggest societies the american um, british there's there's a whole world there self-contained world but smaller countries that have got maybe half a dozen members of their or 10 or 12 members in yeah. there Society. Like uh, Ellen Lotman yeah. told Estonia. you, I mean Estonia, they have less, I think, I think they 12, are right? 12, I think, yeah. for yeah. the moment. So, so of course they don't have the resources to do a major event, even if we had a general assembly in, uh, in Estonia, like I think five years ago, mm. but general assembly is something that is affordable in a way. The awards is something else, yeah. Yeah. because we have to fly in. Uh, a lot of people, yeah, yeah. Uh, the NVTs, the VIPs, yeah. so, and this is, I mean, it's a huge cost. Yeah. How many categories are there? Is it a big... Uh, yeah, effort? we have uh, the main categories for films, so it's feature, uh, TV drama, documentary, short film, and emerging cinematographers. These are, these are the films that are submitted by each country right. yeah. and they go through a process of two round jury so one is a jury they see all the films and then we have a short list and then uh, the decision can, comes up after another jury look at the yeah. short list and decide which is yeah. the winner and then we have the I would say the honorary awards so we have a Honorary Members Award, we have a Lifetime Achievement Award, and we have a Technical technical yeah, Award as yeah. well. And I think that's it. Yeah. And then, <laughs> no, I, we had uh, for Rachel Morrison this year. Yeah. Uh, we have now, uh, we create a special award for her. So, so that is, so we try to honor people yeah. who did something very big for the cinematography world, for Imago and in the technical field. So last year it was a little bit special, it was our first time, so we were generous, we gave uh, two uh, technical awards, right. one to right. Joe Danton, yes. yeah. because he's kind of a patriarch yeah. uh, in technology, yeah. and we gave to a very young lady, Janneke Mikkelsen, out of Norway, yeah. and she's an amazing stereographer and very geek on technical things yeah. and a very good DOP as well and we wanted to because she did um, the um, she did the Queen concert in Barcelona in virtual reality alone yes. so it's a huge wow. thing yeah. for a young person uh, starting more or less in the business I know she's been asked by Richard Attenborough she's been asked by yeah. so many people so and then she's uh, well. So we decided to 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 show the gap between yeah. the two generations, uh, yeah, fantastic, yeah, which is yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's what that's what great about what you do. You don't just concentrate on the top end. You're totally inclusive. Yeah, we are. We try to be inclusive. We try to emerge in cinematography. Of course, it's important because these are the people for the future. future. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a big um, activity on education as well. So. We're holding for the third time in Brussels the international, well, it's teaching cinematography. That's a conference uh, where we gather head 
of camera department from film schools all over the world. Yeah. Uh, we, I think in Munich two years ago we had like 40 countries. Yeah. Top schools, top yeah, yeah. people yeah. and they talk about what is teaching cinematography in the world today. Yeah. So do we need film? Uh, what about uh, the digital cameras? Do we need high-hand camera or is it okay with a smaller camera? I mean all these kind of things but also there is a big demand, strange enough, but there is a big demand of people wanting to make a doctorate. Ah, so you know that uh, on a European level now the, um, the studies are on a master level. Right, yes. So it's three, four, it's four or five years. Yeah. But there are people who are wanting to go on for another three year case study or yeah. study on a particular topic and the conference will be talking about Fantastic. this as well. Yeah. Well, it's brilliant. I think uh, it's, a, it's so impressive what you're doing across the board. It's, you know, but it's doubly impressive that it's a small group of people it's making a, yeah, all this happen. It's a small group. Yeah, yeah. I think in total, uh, between all the people in all the committees, there is around there are around like 30 people involved. But as you know, in all associations, only maybe six are yes, six or seven it. are really active. Yeah. Well, it's fantastic. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, Spare you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. And Thank we'll you. And uh, we'll see you next time. And we talk about future things. There'll be something else, yeah. Tell me about the, what happened to the awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, Thank you very much. I, I can't tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a list. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs>